Hello everyone back again here. It's Scott Collins with the Los Angeles Times and look who I have here. It's uh, Catherine Bouget and Gary Marshall. Uh, you guys have worked together more than once. Tell me how that happened. How that happened? How that we happened? We get along very well, <laughs> me and her. We I mean, look at these faces. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> we did Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. There right. you go. And tell me how you how you first how you first started working together. Well, we met through the studio, and they said her name, and I couldn't pronounce it. So there was we were off to a great start. But once I got it right, Fuji, right. she wrote very well, and uh, we are now master of holidays. That's right? true, and I think we have a similar heart. Like I say, the the beauty of working with Gary is, no matter how you're feeling when you walk into a movie theater, you walk out happy. Right. And that's a gift he gives to all of us, and, and it's a pleasure having been a part of it, really. I'm still learning what the word edgy is, <laughs> but uh, I do what I do when we did it together. Right. Uh, Gary, as somebody who has written, somebody who has directed, you've worked in television, you've worked in movies, is it harder to write or harder to direct? Writing is the hardest. Why always. is writing the hardest? Writing, well, because the hardest job is filling blank paper. There's no help. Everything else, you get help. Directing, you get a lot of help. Sometimes you don't need it. You can just stay in your trailer. But well, the uh, studio helps sometimes. But we got through it all. But right. no, there, the, I feel these days in the business, you got to do all the jobs. And uh, I write, I direct, uh, I Jax. act. We yeah. do everything, and that's why you can keep working. Right, y Catherine. Tell me how you got into writing. I got into I was a theater major and I realized that the story has to sell in a small stage as well as a big screen and right. I just focused on writing. Right. And so uh, uh, playwright uh, you know I was. Right. Yes. Okay. And and the differences between writing for the theater and writing for the screen. And and I mean I realize there are obviously commercial differences mm -hmm. but I, I'm talking about more artistic and creative differences. What are those like? Well, I think for me it was having to open up the story and realizing I have such a world out there to my disposal, which is why a director, you know, is such right. a, a important part of the medium. But uh, you know, I still think it counts the story, the heart, the emotional through line is what is gonna but make the difference. But theater is much better. The theater, yeah. the writer, you can't change anything. In movies, <laughs> right. forty-five people can change things. Right. There's yeah, and always Gitzman right. and Beltman are coming. You know, there's always. I that. left that out earlier. You've worked in theater yeah. as well. Right. Yes, and the Falcon Theater in Burbank. Right. Free parking. <laughs> <laughs> no, free parking. The man can't stop plugging. He's always plugging. I like a plug. <laughs> right. Uh, but, but in theater, you make a good point. Everything is live on stage, mm -hmm. and there are no changes. There are no mulligans. There's no givebacks. Whereas in film, you must ask the writer. In, in, yeah, in in film, you can always. It's like, oh well, this isn't really good. Maybe, maybe we, we can rewrite it and, and reshoot it. You know, so it, there's a little more give there. Than and that. sometimes they don't ask the writer anything. <laughs> right. But I do because I like to work. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, any uh, specific challenges in getting your films made? You know, the 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 the, the ones I'm, you've worked on. I'm going to jump in front of him and say I think everyone was so honored when he came aboard that people just lined up. I mean, when you're right. in a Gary Marshall movie, people want to be a part of that energy and that spirit, and we had no problem getting. Look at the cast of the two movies. Right. Half yeah. of Hollywood are in both of those movies. That's just why to they work got me. They, yeah. I knew I'm older. You might right. know this, right. so I know a lot of people, and I know with Julia yeah. Roberts personally. I know these people, so right. we had two shows with great cast. But it says a lot about him. People want to work with him. The, the vibe on the set, the, right. the, the honesty, the love, the kindness, the openness. You know, you want to be a part of that. Yeah, I'm imagining you, you, you grew up watching Gary Marshall mm -hmm. stuff, because, I mean, the guys... Everybody grew up with my... No, it's... I've been working <laughs> since 1960, so they're Are all... Are you my there. father? Yes, <laughs> where were you? <laughs> I'm a... Why all the stars <laughs> like to work with me is because I used to be a father image, now I'm a grandfather image. Mm. So they all come and we have a good time. Well, since you have been in the, in the industry for so long, Gary, I want to ask you, because now everyone's talking about Netflix, everyone's talking about Instagram, uh, you know, we have all these other uh, ways of people seeing content. Do you think that that is really changing the business? I think so. When I first came to Hollywood, they said, you throw enough stuff against the wall, see what sticks. I never knew where the wall was, <laughs> but now I do. It's called the internet and all these other things. There's a lot of walls now, and I think it's great for the creative people because there's so many other ways to go. When I worked with three places, three networks, boom. 
except for public, but they didn't pay enough in those days. <laughs> But now you can, whatever you're doing, you can find a place and somebody will do it. And I think it's good for the creative people, for the audiences. I guess they like choices. Do you think it's making people's attention spans shorter? Well, the big thing on the internet, they want 60 second bits, you know. Instagram is 15 seconds. Yeah. It's a video that lasts for 15 seconds. Yeah. Well, that's, I, I, I find it hard to say hello in 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> but the minds, uh, you know, it's a shorter attention span. That's the way it is, and that's what we adjust to. We as creative people must adjust to what's out there, and I think we both do pretty good. You, Catherine, do you think it's changing writing and the way that you put scenes together? Well, I. I can never write for anybody but myself because it's dishonest in a way. I sit down and I just write what comes out. But I think what it's done is it's opened the door for opportunity, like he was saying, for more and more styles, more and more storytelling, yeah. more and more smaller stories, smaller um, uh, settings, places that normally wouldn't get on the, the main networks can now find a home on Netflix or on cable, places that uh, would, you know, prior to that, say we're not touching that subject matter or that style. Right. So I think it's actually opened the door and made you know much much, much more room for all yes, of us. Yes, there's room. It's yes. still uh, they're, they're getting away. You know, Patty Jayevsky wrote Network in seven, 1976, and right. it still applies today right. the way they get in the way. But still, more people get in your way, but there's more people places to go. Right, right. Uh, last question, because we're almost out of time, but did the two of you, since, since you've worked together on more than one project, mm -hmm. any disagreements that you've had about, especially about words on the page? No, I think I'd like to just say thank you. I think I've learned a lot from him. I was a very more dramatic playwright, and he taught me about comedy and the setup of comedy and the hidden humor in, in, in everyday people. We're all hilarious in a way, and we're all flawed and funny, and we have yeah, our ways, and I learned that from him. I so. don't want to shock you. Sometimes <laughs> the stars <laughs> like to change a little something. No, so we did it together. Blasphemy, blasphemy. But she yeah. knew how uh, yeah. she writes very Wait honest. You're, and you're when saying the actors want to change things? No, once it's in hard a while, to somebody, impossible. Somebody says something once in a while. I, <laughs> it's very shocking to her and me. <laughs> I've been doing it a while. But no, she writes very honest, so it's easy to adjust. Great. Okay, we have uh, Catherine and Gary here. Uh, listen, I'm so happy you came and talked with us. Uh, it's Scott Collins with the LA Times. Listen, thank you so much for tuning in, and enjoy the uh, Writers Guild Awards.